Uh, we should go live in about another minute. Good morning, everybody. We had a such bad internet connection yesterday, so so I decided to set up at my little coffee bar here, uh, up in second floor. So uh, so hopefully we're gonna have some better connection there this morning. And you know what? Uh, before we start, I need to get ready for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my hot water first, and then if you are just joining us, uh, welcome and. We should be raining about another minute or so, okay? Because I want to prepare for this, for the this morning video. So we don't have, to, you know, I don't have to show you guys everything. So I'm just going to prepare right now. Let's see here. So we're going to do flare and kneel this morning. You know what? Water is almost ready. So I'm just going to get the water ready here. I'm just going to heat up my water, water chamber. Just gonna heat it up for a second. All right. So let's get going, okay? Hello and welcome back. If you're just joining us, my name is Hoon. Uh, my channel is all about making better coffee at home. And uh, in my case, uh, I'm on a little trip right now up in, uh, up in Flagstaff. And this morning, I'm gonna talk, uh, talk to you, uh, you guys about the best upgrade for your flare, the Neo, okay? I've been using Neo for quite a while. And so whenever you buy Neo, it comes with, it's called flow control, pore filter, okay? So this is kind of like equivalent to the pressurized baskets. Uh, so give you, you know, good shot every time. You don't have to worry about the grinder size much. So this is really good for like pre-grind coffee or if you don't want to do a hassle, you know, about the dialing in perfect grinder size. So this is good, good option. But you could actually, you can spend about $24 on the Flare websites. It's called regular uh, pore filter. Okay, so this, this is kind of like bottomless pore, just like uh, pressurized baskets. So you could spend another like $24 extra. You can get a regular pore filter. So this is kind of like, hopefully I can show you. You can take the bottom piece out, okay? to become bottomless pore filter. So this is kind of like a spout. Spout for your pore filter. So the, I prefer using the, put the spout on. The reason is, it's not quite precise. Uh, whenever you pull the shot, you are going to spit out to the side. So, so I'm not a big fan of the just regular bottomless pore filter. If you have a, like Flare Pro 2 model, the high-end model, I mean, they're fantastic, but for this case, you know, I'm not looking for aesthetic. It comes to pulling a shot, so I'm just gonna use a spout. I'm just gonna put the back in. So, you know what? And uh, my, make sure everything is nice and hot, okay? So that's the key to making great espresso using flare or any kind of manual machine because I've been heating up with the hot water for a little while. But meantime, I'm going to heat up my uh, pore filter as well, okay? All right, I'm just gonna have my little bowl there. Got my little hot water. Okay, just, just like so. So I'm, I'm gonna be doing, let's see. I'm gonna be using 15 gram. So this is a Geisha copy from Guatemala. Okay, we're gonna do that. Guess what? I'm going to using the exact same grinder setting, okay? I'm set at uh, number one on San Antonio industry, the mid, uh, mid right hand grinder. I'm going to set at one. So, you know, let's find out which shot is, you know, tastes better, okay? It's going to be fun. So, I'm going to start, I'm just start grinding some coffee beans here. Again, this is pretty easy. You know what? I like, you know, 
make making coffee in the couch actually it's pretty fun here okay just put back in so so this is one downside of using manual hang glider usually it takes about like 40 seconds okay almost ready So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, prepare two baskets and then we are going to pull the shot okay right after because I want to so I want it fresh as possible okay. by the way if you are just joining us uh, welcome to the community okay so almost ready okay so this is good all right so that's one so it took me about what, 40 seconds. Okay, from here, set to the side. I'm gonna start, prepare my pour filter. So this is the kind of like pressurized basket. I mean, very easy. I mean, if you haven't used flare, really fun to use. You can get a great coffee, okay. And then comes with a built-in temper. Just like so. So I'm ready for, it's got pressurized baskets. I'm gonna set to the side. And then let's work on the second one, okay. Doing the same thing, exactly the same grinder size. The only thing difference is the filter basket. Okay, so let's go. Another one here. Okay. I mean, you get to see in live making two espresso at the same time. So, okay. I know some people modify, use the power drill instead of using uh, by hand. I saw that on the YouTube the other day. That's not a bad idea either. Okay. I'm just gonna heat up my water one last time. Almost ready. Okay, almost. Okay, so water is boiling right now. By the way, in Flagstaff, it's about 7,000 foot high. Even though water is boiling, that doesn't mean we're at the right temperature. So I'm gonna boil a little more extra here. Okay. So this is a regular filter basket. Just like so. Anyway, it's by the way, how many people are planning on buying a flare 58 millimeter? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Because I saw the brewing guy the other day from Andrew from Flare. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a good temp here. So now we are ready. Okay. So now we have the one from flow control, one from a regular filter basket. So non-pressurized basket. <clears throat> Got the, it's been heat up. Go like so. So we're gonna start with <clears throat> flow control, okay? And then, you know what? I wanna heat up my cup as well. I wanna heat up my cup for a little bit because you don't want to heat uh, pull hot espresso on your cold cup so I'm just gonna transfer okay so let's go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time it so I got 15 gram in it I like to be around 30 gram shot so I'm gonna start time when first drop hits okay there we go 
that in. I'm going to put water in it. I mean, very, very easy process. If you haven't played with the flare, I mean, actually, any kind of manual machine, it's pretty fun. Okay, I'm just going to zero out. Put the lever on the top. Hold on, put the cup. Okay. Should be reset automatically here. Hold on, bear with me. Hold on a second. Again, this, uh, the thing about uh, this Luna scale is not quite, here we go. I think we are ready. There we go. I'm just going to give it a good, kind of like good little push here. I'm going to, it's a pre-infusion process right now. I see some couple of drops and then give it a good pump. I'm looking for 30 gram. Okay. With the flow control, I mean, everything is going smooth. Between like 25 and 30 seconds. Uh, could be longer. Okay, so I'm at 31 seconds at 25 gram, so it's okay. Let's see here. So let's start with, so let's start with uh, pressurized baskets, okay? So this is a uh, geisha coffee from Guatemala. Uh, I got from Good Brothers. You know what? Hold on a second, guys. I need spoon, okay? Hold on, I forgot to bring my spoon here. So because you wanna store it. So I'm just gonna use my handle, okay? Because I don't wanna go downstairs right now and get the spoon. I'm just gonna store it. Cheers. A lot of jasmine flavor, orange notes, man. I like them a little harder, uh, hotter, but you know what? It's good, okay? So this time, we're gonna try it with non-pressurized baskets. Okay, let's try that one more time here. I'm just gonna take, make sure to take it out gently, okay? Very slowly, but gently. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna set to the side and I'm gonna work on the next one. So you're using the back of your temper to push out like so. So this is the regular filter basket. We are ready. Let's find out what kind of taste difference here. I'm just gonna reset the timer. Come on. I'm just gonna wait. So this is great thing about the live show, guys. You get to see the, the good and the bad. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put the filter on the top. Let's get going here. Hold on. That's it. Hold on a second, guys. I'm messing this up here. Here we go. So pre-infusion is done. As I mean, hopefully, you know, I wish you guys can see this. The color is much, much darker. Give you the real espresso. Okay. I'm looking for like a 15 gram in. Like I like to do like 1.5 to 2 ratio.
There we go. I got 20, um, 30 gram right here. Perfect. At 34 seconds. Okay. You know, as it's much, much better shot. With pressurized baskets, <clears throat> the flow control give you the fake crema, but this is the real deal. Smells really great. Cheers. Okay, again, I forgot my spoon. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Wow, what a difference. Okay, what a difference. So this is, <clears throat> if you're in a hurry, if you don't want to deal with the, like grinder size, grinder setting, I mean, here, the pressure as basket is fine. But if you're, you know, if you have time, maybe on weekends, I mean, non pressurized basket is fantastic. Okay, so this, I mean, this, as long as everything is, okay, by the way, so this cylinder is even hotter than this one, first of all, because the second time we are brewing it, so it's a much hotter taste as well, but it's not bitter, well balanced. Fantastic, okay, fantastic. Anyway, so uh, if you have any questions or comment, press down below and then let's see, you know what, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my Instagram live session right now. So if you have any questions about Flair, Neo, or even like talking about, the, you know, pressurized basket here, uh, we can talk about it. And again, if, if you guys are looking for kind of like entry, the good way to get into espresso, you could spend a lot of money, but you know what? Once you go, go, go with it like Flair Neo, okay, it's about 100 bucks on Amazon. And it comes with the pressure, you know, flow control, and then spend another, what, 25 bucks for the non pressurized baskets. So you're looking at $125 into it. And get yourself a good hand grinder. That's anywhere between you know hundred to two hundred dollar range there. So again, the grinder is a key. Okay, once you have the good grinder, you're gonna have some good time. But yeah, make sure if you guys want to spend some money on hand grinder, just make sure spend money. You know, save some money, get a good hand grinder. And I think the San Anthony industry is really good for like pour over. I meant set at one. Okay, so I meant one. I mean, I can put, you know, put some really decent shots. So this is medium roast as well. So it's medium to light roast. So I set at the finest. So you know what? It's kind of like, so this is, so this is kind of like bottle line. Okay. Uh, you are, you are going to make some great espresso, but if you want to get a really good hand grinder, I think a Kinu, Kinu makes wonderful hand grinder. I think an open espresso as well. Let's not forget the Commandante makes wonderful hand grinder. They're like 250 and up. Again, if you're spending about 100 bucks, one to 150, so you're looking at total of a $300 range, you're gonna have some good setup for your espresso. So ideally, if you have a uh, like Bravo machine at home, if you wanna play, you know, if you wanna something for fun, okay, for fun, I mean, this is a good option. If you guys want to, if you don't have any machine at home, if you want to start getting into espresso, maybe this is something you want to get into. I mean, this is a really cheap entryway to get into your espresso hobby. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure if you like it, make sure uh, thumbs up and then like the button there on the top on your phone. What else? Uh, make sure subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. I got some, a lot of videos coming up. Okay, by the way, if you haven't seen my video this morning, I uploaded. I was making coffee up in Lake Mary, up in Flagstaff. This is so much easier, okay? This yeah, so much easier than making coffee in the rock there. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and then see you guys tomorrow.